every year. The government of the Gambia is doing all it takes to provide high quality education in a bit to mold future leaders who will be addressing some of the challenges confronting the country. The deans and representatives of different faculties or schools under the UTG also took time to welcome the new students as well as highlight the roles of their respective departments. Seumad Bite, president of the UTG Student Union, in his welcome remark, delved into the workings of the student body and its role in the welfare of students. The senior UTG relations officer, Yakuba Mambure, told the gathering that the UTG is one that boasts of state-of-the-art facilities before expanding on the role of his office in creating and fostering local and external linkages. My office, the university relations office, we are the custodian of all university linkages, partnerships and collaboration. We ensure that there is that linkage and partnership with the outside world, be it with other institutions, government or non-government organizations. Relevant and recommended textbooks are also said to be available at the UTG library as one way of enhancing learning skills of students. As such, librarian Isa Dunjai urged the new intakes to make best use of the facility. Ali Maska, speaking on behalf of the finance department, urged students to abide by the payment mode so as to make life easy for themselves as well as contribute to the development of the country's highest learning institution. Janine Mane, secretary of the UTG, did not mince his words when he addressed the new badge of university students. As a student, you must familiarize yourself with information about your academic programs, your academic majors and minors, with an understanding of all the requirements of an academic degree plan. Mane called on all and sundry to show respect and genuine desire to work together as a family. This university is ours. And we are here to make sure that it goes to the higher heights. My advice to you as freshmen and women is to aim high, aim very, very high. Try to read aggressively with an open mind. Because those of you who want to score high, definitely you, want, you have to aim very, aim very, very high. Professor Mohamed Uka, in a marathon speech, commended the new index for being chosen through their own merits and urged them to keep up the momentum. On behalf of the university's chancellor and founder, His Excellency Sir Professor Dr. Alhaji Yahya AJJ Jami, the chairman and members of the governing council, the senate, the faculty and staff, and your fellow continuing students, both undergraduate and graduate, I again warmly welcome you here at this University of the Gambia. In what can be described as a marathon speech, Vice Chancellor Carr recognized the presence of visiting students on an exchange program and partners from various colleges and universities in the U.S. Professor Okar disclosed that the 2016 class came at a time when the Science, Technology and Innovation Park in Faraba opened its doors to science students and researchers. That edifice, he said, serves as a hub for the development of the much needed science human capacity and capability of the country. The class of 2016 is indeed a unique class. You're coming to the university when we are emerging from a very a very dark cloud and unfortunate distractions which tested and challenged the resolve of our university for the past two years or so. And beginning this new year, we are beginning this new year with huge hopes and optimism and excitement. For JRS News, this is Babu well, uh, public health officials in Cuba closed all restaurants as they intensify extra precautionary measures on a cholera outbreak that has killed one person. And more and uh, West African troops arrive in Mali with France to increasing its number of boats in the once peaceful country. Those and other stories when we come back.
The NOEC Staff Association under the Chief Guest of Honor, His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sheikh Professor Al Haji Dr. Yaya AJJ Jame, is staging its third annual gala dinner and dance in association with the international superstar Asanjai of Senegal, Jaliba Kuyate and Abu and Fafa. This program is in support of His Excellency's drive to turn the Gambia into a city state by providing all basic and essential services such as electricity and water to the Gambian population place irrespective of where they live. The gala dinner is slated for the 25th of January 2013 at the Senegambia Beach Hotel. Tables are as follows. Platinum $60,000, Diamond $50,000, Gold $40,000 and Silver $35,000. Each table comes with 10 gala dinner tickets and cash power raffle tickets. Individual tickets $1,500. January 25th, that is their dance at the Paradise Suits Hotel, Penchami Hall. The tickets are as follows. VIP $600, Ordinary $400. Chief Guest of Honor for the night, Modu Turo Davo, Aja Chan Khan and Fatu Ture. And at Brikama Joko, which is January 27th, the tickets are $200 flat. Chief Guest of Honor, Lamin Sane, Governor of West Coast Region, Aja Fatu So, Farato Alcalo, and Amidu Ja, Ja Oil. For reservations, please call 366-409-6-997-3506-07-980-2992. Please join us. On a journey inside Trust Bank every Tuesday from 7 to 7.30 p.m. Where we hope to give you a unique insight into what we do, why we do it, and, and how it benefits, benefits you. Welcome back to GRTS News. The United States has recognized the government of Somalia the first time since 1991. The move comes during a visit to Washington by the Somali president Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. And Charles Blake Goode has been arrested in Ghana after being on ex in exile for more than a year. The former leader of the Young Patriots did not have a political refugee status and he has been on the run since the ousting of Laurent Gbagbo. We have details of those and other stories in this African News Roundup by CFI. For the first time in over 20 years, a Somali president visited Washington on Thursday. I am delighted to announce that for the first time since 1991, the United States is recognizing the government of Somalia. With new political um, recognition, Somali Somalia President Somalia Hassan Somalia Sheikh Mahmoud Somalia may now be able to count on financial aid from the United States Somalia to help reconstruct his country that has been ravaged by decades of war. The trial against former Rwandan politician Leon Mugesera opened in Kigali on Thursday after it was postponed several times. The first hearing mainly focuses on an anti-Tutsi speech Mugesera made in 1992 during a rally for his party. His violent speech is considered a key element in starting the 1994 genocide that left at least 800,000 people dead. Leon Mugesera had lived for several years with his family in Canada before being extradited in January 2012. Charles Blais Goudé has been arrested in Ghana. He is a staunch supporter of former Ivorian President Long Bagbo. The former leader of the Young Patriots lived in exile for over a year and a half. He was arrested in Ghana's capital Accra on Thursday and is now being detained by Ghanaian police. Charles Blais Goudé does not have political refugee status. The Ivorian authorities issued an arrest warrant for him over his involvement in the post-electoral crisis in Cote d'Ivoire in December 2010, in which nearly 3,000 people died. The Democratic Republic of Congo held a commemoration ceremony in honor of Patrice Lumumba, who was assassinated in 1952. Lumumba was the hero of independence and the country's first prime minister. The head of state and several government officials attended the ceremony. Over half a century after Lumumba was assassinated, Belgian authorities have decided to reopen an investigation into his death. Patrice Lumumba's family called the move a courageous initiative.